just wow. Good morning. It is really early in the morning. Uh, it's just gone three o'clock and uh, I've been sleeping in my car in, uh, in Perthshire in Scotland. And I'm here at this very early hour because I'm about to meet up with Espen Helland any minute now. And we're going to go up the hill and going to witness one of the most spectacular events in the sort of springtime Scottish wildlife calendar, which is the Black Grouse Lek. And I'm so excited for this. I booked this uh, this session with Espen in his in his hides at the Lek um, late last year in 2022, and yeah, really really stoked for this. Yesterday evening, it was absolutely tipping it down with rain. It was horrible. I, was, I, I meant to, uh, I meant to sleep in the woods in, in my hammock. It was raining so hard that I didn't even come out of the car. I kind of crawled over into the back seats, dropped the back seats down, and set up in the back of the car without even coming outside because it was just tipping with rain. But now it's crisp. It's cold. I can see the stars. And so there's a really good chance that we'll have some nice weather when we're up on the hill. Espen's meeting another client at 20 past three and then we're doing a short drive and then I believe it's a three kilometer hike up the hill. For obvious reasons, once we're up there and set in the hides, we won't be doing uh, much talking because we need to be in the hides and quiet an hour and a half before sunrise. But I'll try and kind of talk you through the hide and the kit I'm using once we're, once we're up there and established. And uh, yeah, I'll try and bring you along with me as much as I can and maybe have a little chat when we get uh, finished with the grouse once they leave from the lek this morning. But yeah, this is super, super exciting. It's gonna be so good. Just the experience of hearing them and seeing them will be fantastic. So what are these? V6s and a mono? V5, V6, mono, V2. Arriving at the lek in the cold night, we approached the hides which Hespen had set up earlier and shook the frost off them and removed the guy lines so they wouldn't be in the way of our photography. Espen had given us plenty of great advice on the way up as to how to set our cameras up for the best shots and we busied ourselves getting our kit sorted and then getting into the hides, getting quiet. I was using the Nikon Z9 and the 400mm f4.5 lens. I also had batteries, the 1.4x teleconverter and various other bits of kit that I thought I might need out and ready on the floor of the hide so that I could get to them quietly. And I also put a GoPro outside the hide to get some outside b-roll. So that's us set up in the hides. I won't be able to talk anymore. And now we just wait. Hopefully, that'll be some awesome black grouse really soon.
Once the grouse had left and Espen gave the all clear, it was time to get out of the hides and stretch our legs after what had been an absolutely fantastic few hours. Espen had provided hot coffee and cinnamon buns, which we enjoyed while discussing the incredible spectacle of wildlife we'd just witnessed. Then it was time to pack up our gear and start heading down the hill. Well, wow, just wow. That was such an incredible experience. The sound of the grouse when they first landed. Absolutely unbelievable. It was too dark to, to see them other than these sort of little kind of slightly pale splotches that I could just see kind of just on the edge of where I could see anything at all, which is obviously their, their sort of white sort of undertail feathers. But oh, that was quite an experience. I'm so glad that I've done that. I'm so glad that the grouse came in and it didn't pish down with rain like it did yesterday. So uh, yeah, fantastic. Um, just walking down the hill now, um, all done. At some point, at a certain point, the grouse kind of got a bit quiet and then they all just took off and flew away. And Espen said, we should wait for a couple of minutes just in case they come back, but that was them gone. So yeah, I'm sure I'll have done some, uh, some voiceover in there and you've probably seen most of the footage and the images by now, but uh, I thought I'd have a quick word about the gear while I'm walking down. Um, I had the Z9, the 400 F4.5, and it was absolutely fantastic for that. Um, it was just the right focal length. I did consider, well, I did try to use the 1.4 times teleconverter at one point, um, but it was steamed up. So I took it off again straight away to not let the, uh, the moisture into the camera. Um, and yeah, I had this guy, this GoPro 10 outside the hide the whole time doing a really long video, which I'll have compressed into the outside uh, the hide B-roll that you'll have already seen. So yes, on that subject, I'm vlogging with a GoPro now after seeing uh, Corey and Rob using GoPros on the hill in Glenshee. I realized that that's uh, a very good idea, nice and compact. And uh, yeah, I'm sure the quality isn't quite as spectacular as with the uh, Z9, sorry, with the Z6, but also with the Z6, I find myself not taking as much video and B-roll because it was a faff to, uh, to get the camera out. Um, the other thing about the GoPro actually, that's really good for being out and about is I can put it on this capture clip. Here, Peak Design Capture Clip, there it is, which uh, is really good because it means I can just have it on me for walking about. So the other bit of kit, of course, was the hide, and I was in a Tragopan V6 with an extra room, extended room, so I could lie down in it. It was really interesting to use a, uh, a proper hide, and uh, yeah, I'm sure one day I'll probably get a decent hide but for now I think I'm happy with the budget ones that I've got and uh, the ghillie suit. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and coming along on the, the black grouse lek with me and uh, Espen and Peter who was the other client. It has been fantastic. I enjoyed it so much. Now I have to go and look at the video and the 2900 images that I took pick out the best ones and of course you all have seen the best stuff already I suspect on the video but uh, we'll finish it now probably a few more clips on the end and uh, yeah all that remains is for me to thank Espen very very much for the use of his hides obviously I paid him some money but happy to support him and uh, you for coming along and watching today if you enjoy these videos and you don't uh, already subscribe to the channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, you know, if you liked it, leave a like and a comment, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.